Good day, everyone. Welcome to Wheels Up Live again. I'm IAD Bound, and I wanted to talk to you today about a subject that, again, uh, comes up fairly frequently on the unofficial PMDG Discord, as well as just elsewhere around the flight sim community, which is Wassum crashes, right? So Wassum, Whiskey, Alpha, Sierra, Mike. What is a Wassum crash? Well, uh, typically the way you will see it manifested when you are using, say, a PMDG plane or an AnyBuilds plane or almost any third-party developer that has relied on Wassum, particularly to bring their product to Xbox. And what you might see is a situation where you might be working in the cockpit, particularly with the FMC. I've noticed that's a, uh, a, a not infrequent source of Wassum problems, issues, and questions. Where, for example, you may be punching in some numbers or references. Like, for example, we're here at Vienna Airport, and if I put Vienna in and click into the FMC, or perhaps try to do multiple FMC actions at one time, it may cause the system to freeze on the FMC. So that's not to say nothing else in the cockpit might be responsive, but effectively you have lost your ability to interact with some or all of the system and you're in a situation where you say, well, I, I'm, you know, I'm in the middle of the flight and I just made a direct in my legs page and it's frozen. What am I to do? And the short answer to your question is, well, there's really nothing you can do to fix that in the middle of your flight. However, what you might want to do to help PMDG or any other developers plane with whom you might run into this problem. And to be clear, this is not a problem that is limited strictly to PMDG or any particular developer. Far from it, it can happen to anyone who's using these WASM modules, and they're extremely common in the add-on community, even within Microsoft itself. So what you can do is the following to help, one, determine if you've actually had a Wasm crash, and two, to let the developer know what issue you've run into. And maybe that'll help them solve the problem. So let's say you've had this freeze. What you could do is enable the developer mode. Apply that. Now. Go back, come up into the developer mode under the debug, and go to console. Now, what you'll see in here is a lot of different information that reflects uh, what's been going on in terms of how the plane has been loading uh, various files and engaging with them. And if there are errors, like, for example, here it says it failed to locate a file. Uh, that may tell you something about what's going on. One of the errors you might see might say WASM. As you can see here, we have uh, W-A-S-M, WASM. And I've actually put that in the search box up here to help me narrow this down because that makes it simpler to figure out where things uh, might be. Now, in this case, we don't have a WASM module error. However, I do have an example of one, which I will show you. So here we have a WASM error. And you can see here, we have a thing that says WASM exception, and then it has a code, and then it says engage FMGS, which in this case, this was in the AnyBuilds A300, but that's the uh, you know the flight management computer system. In other words, when I was engaging with the MCDO in the A300, I got the Wasm error. 
And so what you could do if your developer takes feedback directly, maybe through their Discord or some other support ticket system, is you could take a screenshot of this and you could send them that detail. So how would you see that detail? Just confirming here, there's a details window, which you can toggle. So here we can't see the detail and here we can. So that's how you can add the detail so they can see what's going on. Now, PMDG even has another option, which I strongly suggest you use. So let's say you've had a WASM crash. Before you do anything else, like reload the flight, whatever you might want to do to get back up and running, exit out of the sim, go to the PMDG Operations Center, go under Help and Support, and find the third line down, create a support package. If you click on that, it will then ask you if you want to create a support package file on your desktop, and it'll gather a bunch of information to send to PMDG. You can hit OK, and it will prompt you to save it. And when you do, and I've already made one, but I'm just going to copy right over it. When you do, it'll ask you if you want to replace it. You could say yes. And watch, what it'll do is it'll bring you right to the PMDG support page where you can log in, file your ticket, and attach your support package. And hopefully, uh, the information that you give them, the feedback that you have, whether it's a WASM crash really or almost any other issue that you've run into, hopefully it'll help PMDG see your problem, maybe work on your problem, or solve your particular problem uh, if it applies for some reason only to you. And that is a way to try to tackle these issues. The reality is that no developer is immune from WASM issues. We've noticed after Service Update 15 that there was an uptick in these issues that has come up for at least for, for some devs. And so it's something to keep an eye out. And I know it's wildly frustrating, but for now, maybe this is the best we can do. Well, I hope that this has been helpful to you. Uh, please uh, leave your, any comments or questions you have uh, in the comments section below. As always, if you have enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.